right, everyone, welcome back. We are talking about Dead World issue number one today. Um, this issue is just amazing. Um, this is early 1986 art. Uh, this cover is by Vince Locke. Amazing cover, first issue cover. Recommend it for mature readers. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, yeah, so issue number one, Dead World, came out in... 1986 by published by arrow comics um the the reason why we're talking about this mostly is for the interesting looking at the interesting art of that era which is very you know the black and white rough drawing um of that time kind of something like tmnt you would see like something this rough, you know, kind of black and white, amateurish a little bit. Um, you know, I still love it. In fact, I love this more than <laughs> most of today's comic book art, which is kind of sad to say. Um, but as you can see, there's just like an endless amount of speed lines that just just to make up this whole and even with the grass. kind of crazy this this comic book um also kind of famously people say that this is the original walking dead because there are so many um instances where robert kirkman's walking dead feels like it's taking from this like the beginning already there's survivors on a bus arguing getting along whatever there's a kid there um already it's very reminiscent of like the first volume or two of Robert Kirkman, what's going on with um, some of the survivors outside the city. Um, not having to do with Rick exactly, but, you know, something that people would do in these old comic books, and it's so weird, I don't know why it was a thing, but they would do these like back and forth like smudges going one way going the other way to kind of fill out a background I don't get why that was popular um, but clearly it was used a lot maybe it was just like an amateur way to fill out a background I'm not sure um, but as you can see, the characters, while drawn pretty well, um, a little cartoonish, which is fine. There's that pattern again. Some drama going on. People spying on the camp. You learn out those people are zombies. Um, the, the main difference between Dead World... And The Walking Dead is that the zombies, in fact, do have the ability to talk to one another. Not all of them, mind you, like 99% of them are dead, dead and dumb as shit, but like some of them. And uh, this is a nice piece right here. But... Uh, you know, it, it's interesting, too, in the fact that how they're drawing the zombies, because there's just so much cross-hatching and just, like, it almost looks like pen, just, like, going back and forth like you would, you know, when you were little trying to, like, learn how to draw or whatever, at least I did in my case. And the cross-hatching is just insane on the detail for these zombies uh, personally when I draw zombies this is a project I'm working on I don't do that much <laughs> I mean I do but it's different it's done differently it's a different uh, kind of texture but this is just something something else really rough but I love it and this is something you don't see anymore a whole face taking up a box. I miss that so much. See. And I don't know if that's considered amateur. Even, I mean, look how small this panel is. It's like a finger. A finger. 
I mean, how many panels is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, probably like 24. Jesus. But at least, you know, they put everything into this issue. And I think that's why, you know, I love it so much is because you get so much art out of the first issue, which to me is always something you should do to show off not only what you're doing and what you're selling, but how much work you're going to put into it. Talking about rationing food here. Arguing. People going off and having sex. You know, nightfall. Around the campfire. See, look how cartoony they are. And I feel like cartoony is always easier to draw than more realist realism, obviously. In the case of this, uh, you know, it works. Because it's not trying to take itself seriously. Cool paneling. They're messing around a little bit with the paneling here. These lines are not straight at all on the bus. Um, like I said, amateurish, just really rough really sketchy but it just looks so cool hey do you guys smell that they can smell the zombies like i said people in the woods having sex somebody named dan i don't remember if that's torn from walking dead too there's the cartoonish, his eyes blinking out. <laughs> See, this is this is the thing here. I, I, I'm cool with the zombies having the boinked out eyes. But don't do it with the humans. <laughs> this reminds me of like grade school for some reason. Like that old early 90s animation or something. I don't know why. The zombies are coming. This is cool because they actually do put a lot of work into the zombies. Again, um, just m mindlessly going nuts on the cross hatching. You you have to be able to tell that that's either um, a chest burster or his intestines. Good variation on how they look. It's pretty neat. It's pretty cool this taking out the zombies that's cool and this is boys and girls this is the big introduction to uh one of the staples the mainstays of the series he's called king zombie um i think even at some point they made a toy about him but give me this all day this introduction uh, this is just a fucking sick introduction right here. Oh, my God. Do this all day. I'll buy every issue. <laughs> and he's kind of a character that, like, no fucks given attitude. Like, he just does not care. He wants to see the world burn. He'll do whatever it takes to, like, destroy it. And you never hear about his background. As far as I've read, and I've read a lot of Dead World. People dying. Getting taken out. This is a cool splash page. Cross hatching with those weird patterns again. It's like one's here, one's like this, all the way up. But you can tell they're having fun because... He's wearing a kick-ass little uh, staple on his um, shirt here. I just love this. I love the way it looks. Naked zombie. Beer belly zombie.
uh, one of the other things people tend to say that the reason uh, they feel like Robert Kirkman stole so so much of this was that while they're on the bus, they are going to some place called uh, Purgatory. I forget what it was called. It was a, it was the name of a same the same location in The Walking Dead. And you know, there's just so many things that are the same that I can see why people call this the original walking dead although i'm not sure if robert kirkman kirkman took anything as a homage or or what i am not blaming anyone or anything i'm just saying that's what people say cool way to finish the first issue and you're gonna die uh vincent black shadow vincent black knights uh, whatever they were called. They were a famous motorcycle in the 80s, um, early 80s. Uh, Hunter S. Thompson, the writer, famous writer, would talk about them. Gonzo Journalism. So this is pretty neat. And this this looks pretty rad, too, just the way they did it. I love it. Cool way to introduce characters. Um, you know... The, the amount of panels and detail in, in the first issue. Bringing King Zombie to life. Introducing your main villain. It's all here. Letting you know that not all the people are going to survive. It is reminiscent of Walking Dead. Or vice versa. Uh, about the artist... Vincent Locke is kind of tall, kind of skinny, and likes to draw a lot. <laughs> cool zombie, though. Uh, I don't know what this is, also. But I want to read it, because it looks cool. This is a pretty badass um, piece of art. Reminds me of Guns N' Roses. I'm on the night streets, ready to crash and burn. I never learn. Yeah, so that's Dead World. Um, 1986, black and white invasion. Um, you know, rough. Coming back to take away from Marvel and DC. You know, I forget who it was was quoted. Uh, people always say, you know, Image was the beginning of, of trying to take away from Marvel and DC. But the truth was is that it was the black and white comics that came first that did that. You know, with TMNT proving it could be done and then everyone else following suit. So, you know, it's pretty interesting to go back and look at these things and see how people did art, sold comics, um, how much work they put into it. And uh, what the future held for zombie comics in general. Yeah, that's Dead World number one. Uh, thanks, everyone, for watching. Please consider uh, like, sharing, and subscribing. Putting a lot of work into the channel right now. Um, oh, also, before we go, I just put out a new book, Super Punks. Um, it just came out, I want to say, a couple weeks ago, whatever, like a month ago. 500 page book true story um check it out if you can help support uh my work if you can it would mean a lot to me um, obviously the cover is a homage to love and rockets number one so yeah that's all i have to say and uh thanks everyone for watching have a good day